It's day two of Farmer's Apprentice Boot Camp. Today, it's all about advanced drone aircraft and sophisticated tractors working together to deliver precision farming. Good morning and welcome to day two. It's all about precision farming technology. And I'd like to introduce our sponsors, New Holland and Jason Tugood, who will be here with us today. Good morning. Today, we're going to test your tractor driving skills on the Bishop Burton Tractor Assault Course, and you'll be flying precision hawks. You'll be capturing data from the fields, downloading it to the tractor, creating fertilizer plans, and then spreading that fertilizer. And the aim of today is to introduce you to this technology, show you how it can reduce costs, improve performance, and also protect the environment. We'll have a wealth of knowledge here from New Holland who can assist you in the tasks and it's going to be a very exciting day. Good luck. The apprentices are again split into two teams to select their team captains. I have a bit of track experience. Do you want me to go for team captain for this one? I'll go for Sam. It's decided. We have team Sam and team Dan. Next, we're off to the field to find out more about Precision Hawk and their aircraft. The unmanned aerial vehicle or drone is one of the latest gadgets in the farmer's growing arsenal of precision farming tools. With the help of Freddie Holland and John Downs from New Holland and Neil Gabriel from drone maker Precision Hawk, the apprentices have to fly a drone over the field to capture data and create a nitrogen application map. We join Team Dan to see how they're getting on. We're going to plan the flight using some software that Precision Hawk have produced, and that allows us to select the altitude of the flight, the location of the flight, and various other parameters, and then we write them to a USB a device that goes into the back of the aircraft. Uh, what we're going to ask you to do, though, is to find the field we're actually at. We started with a, an aerial image here of Bishop Burton College. It's a normal mouse arrangement, so you can drag the screen around like you would do any map. We went round the equestrian centre, didn't we? When we were driving out here. You know, we came past the main entrance. That's, that's, oh, did we? Yeah, because oh. you come, no, I think we went out to the left. Should we zoom in? Team Sam are also trying to locate the field. Nice. Oh, professional. <laughs> yeah, it's that field. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Now they've located where they are, they must map the field and plot the flight path for the drone. And so now we have our flight plan. Yeah. Can mm -hmm. Get it on plane. Cool. It goes into the aircraft here. So pop it in. And also we can have a look at the After the information is downloaded to the drone and the correct flight plan is selected, it's ready for launch. Press launch to fly. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. One thing it does say is please remove the lens cap. Yes. That's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine? <laughs> so then we can move out to the area where we're intending to launch from. And to remove the safety pin, press the launch button, hold the aircraft into wind, roughly level. When it powers up, I'm going to wait till I get full power and then I'm going to launch it. Wow. wow! That's amazing. It's loud, isn't it? And that's yeah. the last we'll see of it. <laughs> <laughs> Never comes back. And I'm going to go over and have a look at the telemetry and we'll keep an eye on the aeroplane. Yeah. So you'll see it do two circles in a minute to confirm the wind direction. After flying the drone, each team must recover the aircraft and download the data it has collected, uploading it into the cloud for analysis. Then the teams have to enter the data into state-of-the-art New Holland tractors. But first, it's time to test their tractor driving skills. The tractor is the workhorse of modern farming. Today's tractors are almost as complex as aircraft. Packed with electronics, satellite technology and complex software, they deliver valuable data to farmers. New Holland machinery experts Jason Tugood and Sean Price are on hand to guide the apprentices and help Carl judge their performance. It's going to be so fun! It's Come be... on, get excited! I don't think I quite have your capacity for that level of excitement. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so inside, I'm really excited. <laughs> Each team member will be judged on how quickly they complete the course and, more importantly, how well they control this impressive piece of kit. Right. Yeah. 
One by one, they attack the course. although some team members are preferring a more cautious approach. Into the parking bay, it's pretty good, nicely done. No farm animals were harmed during the making of this video. Get on, yeah, yeah. yeah, leave it on now. Oh, we can stall it. <laughs> 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 Almost perfect until <laughs> just turning the tractor off. <laughs> well done, Lucy. The guy started holding on in the cab and I was like, yeah, am, I, am I going too quick? <laughs> yeah! Legitimately terrible. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> They've demonstrated their tractor driving skills and gathered data on nitrogen levels in the field. It's now time to put those skills and this data to use. Okay, welcome everyone to this afternoon's task. You've spent this morning looking at the tractors, learning about them, catching the data. We'd now like you to use that data, create a fertiliser plan and go off into the tractors and actually deliver that. Both teams choose their drivers for the task. Using their newfound tractor driving skills and the data gathered from the drone, the teams have to input the data into the New Holland control system. They have to set up the headland guidance line and choose the most efficient route through the field. Oh no, I've done something wrong. Go on. Yeah. Uh, select the field. That's it. Straight four. Number four. Click start. Well, ensure data management. I think we'll put it through the run screen, or through performance. Yeah, we've got performance. <laughs> <laughs> you pace out, like 12 metres there. Yeah, right, do you want to start in the corner? Yeah, 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 yeah. Start, start, way. start in the corner facing up the field. You aim for me, basically. Using humans as a navigational tool is not recommended. To make sure they are the recommended 12 metres from the headland, Tom paces it out, so Sam knows he is the correct distance away. What are we looking for, Freddie, here? How can we tell whether they're doing a good job or not? Well, they've already stumbled on one small point. Um, they chose the wrong swath type. Oh, really? They actually, yeah, they, they've chosen a straight swath instead of field swath. But apart from that, they've set everything else up fine. So and did then, you correct them on it, or are they still running at, with it? No, I, it? I pointed out to them, otherwise we'd be here for quite a while. <laughs> OK. You need to start the tractor up, hit start, and drive around the outside of the field. The first thing we do is drive around. Yeah. Map, basically map the field. Try not to mow down our team Yeah, yeah and familiarise yourself with the tractor. Right, yeah. do you want to switch then? Because you're going to drive, aren't you? Because I'm pretty terrible at that. <laughs> well, I'll fit in here, it's fine. I think they've fair. stopped just to keep, oh, keep yeah. crashing into the other team. Right, so now you've got There is you no handbrake, right? So all you have to do is let go of the brake. Just drive past. Oh. Just don't take out the other tractor. <laughs> Sam found the accelerator pedal. <laughs> Both teams set off to map the field. So what have they got to do now? At this point, now they've completed the field swath, uh, driven around the boundary, they now need to define how many headland passes they want to drive 
and also the infill type, so either straight or curve, and which uh, headland their line is off. This just happens to be our starting point. So, would you say so that's the most efficient way to work across the field? Yeah, if you were Because the tram line's already there, you don't want to trust the tram lines because it'll make a bumpy ride for the. Yeah, it means we might have to slow here. down for the tram lines because of yeah. the yeah, yeah. bumpy. So. How many headlands? Yeah. One or two. Oh no, it, the, the f***ing shut down. Mm. I don't know if it will have saved it, because I turned it off. Does it save it if you turn the engine off? Okay, yes, good. it does. You're good. <laughs> You're right. Can you we bleep that out? Well, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> it's just gonna We're going to get more wheelings, yeah. aren't we? It came up automatically with three. Do two. Do two. Do two. OK. Anyone disagree with too? I couldn't really no. make a particularly oh, no. informed comment on it. You guys happy in there? Yeah! Everything going okay? Yeah! yeah. Doing, doing <laughs> it's a... looking good! Apart from accidentally turning it off! <laughs> yes! There we go. Yes! <laughs> start spreading. Yeah, start spreading. Go on the field. Go on the... Oh yeah, I need to see if the rate changes. If they have set up the system correctly, the spreader should automatically adjust its spreading rate as the tractor moves, applying exactly the right amount of fertiliser to each part of the field. It's time for the judges to deliberate. Jason, how did they do technically on that task? The important thing is Team Dan and Team Sam both completed the task. That's the really important thing. They needed a bit of help along the way and two very different approaches, but they both got there. So, fantastic. So that's good. It's Go been on. really interesting to watch the two teams today because on balance, Team 1, Team Sam, very much out there to win, put their strongest people in. Team 2, Dan's team, a bit softer on the leadership. He chose sort of people who weren't who were less experienced, really. They grabbed the subject, they were very excited and had a really good go at it. Team Sam, definitely, they were quite methodical. They picked their best driver mm -hmm. to do the driving and the person who had some, not a lot, but a bit of GPS experience to yeah. do the data inputting. So I think that was a good logical decision. Well, I think I've made my decision. Yeah, me too. Me three, so. OK, well done, guys. I can tell you enjoyed today. Lots of smiles on faces. You were driving tractors around the assault course. First, we added up the control. Bear in mind, you each got a score out of 10, so maximum of 50 to each team. Team Sam scored 39 out of 50, the first team. Team Dan scored 39 out of 50. <laughs> Absolute dead heat. But there was a difference in the times. So Team Sam completed the course overall in 503 seconds. Team Dan overall completed the course in 802 seconds. So. Equal control, but Team Sam did the course faster. Then you this afternoon, we did the very technical task with the fertiliser spreading. Jason, do you want to say a few words about how they did technically? Yeah, I would, yeah. So, uh, first things first, well done both teams. You did complete the task. It was quite challenging, I think you may all agree. I think the important thing, though, is that you worked together on it. There were some uh, elements that were new to both of you and you did very well, so you should be proud of yourself. The second thing is that we saw two very different approaches again, similar to this morning. One team took their time a bit more, um, not 800 seconds, and the other team were quite gung-ho, got on the tractor and got on with the task. There were a few little mistakes here and there along the way, but uh, you worked together and rectified them with a bit of help from the New Holland guys as well. Um, so overall, very well done. But there's only one winner. You know the score, guys, so the winner of day two is Team Sam. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. But before you get excited, it's forfeit day. <gasps> the losing team get a forfeit. Chosen by the winning team captain. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to come and choose your forfeit for the other two? <laughs> your forfeit is to wash one of the tractors. Well done, so well guys. Done it's been you. a really good day. Um, <laughs> Team Sam celebrate their win, while Team Dan get their hands dirty.
next time on Farmer's Apprentice. Our apprentices get down and dirty with cows, sheep, pigs and metalwork. <laughs>